Hey Dean, why don't you tell us a little bit about the program? I'd love to, come on in. So our manufacturing programs here at Ferris, we started back in 1956. And at that time, it was really prior to a lot of the vocational technical programs we have, and even prior to a lot of the community college programs that we see today. So from the 1956, um, on through the 60s into the 70s, really Ferris was the place to go for anything related to machining and particularly machine tool technology. As the 1970s approached, we found that those schools, both high school level vocational technical programs and community college programs, really started expanding to fill that need of educating baby boomers across the state. And when that happened, our flavor changed a little bit. We started picking up more of a production type focus through the 60s into the 70s. So by the mid 1970s, we were approached by the Society of Manufacturing Engineers about developing a, a manufacturing engineering technology program. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with the difference, but uh, manufacturing engineering is one thing, manufacturing engineering technology is something quite different. It's a huge pride point for us here in the College of Engineering Technology. So just to qualify that, manufacturing engineering technology is the application of the technology the students are learning. So that program just happened to be the first bachelor's program within the College of Engineering Technology, the first manufacturing engineering technology program in the state of Michigan, and one of the first manufacturing engineering technology programs in the country. Wow. From that late 70s, early 80s, the flavor kind of moved into a mix of tooling technology and CNC. So for the past 40, almost 50 years, we held that flavor of applying machining technology to tooling applications with the use of CNC. In recent years, the program's flavor has been more of one of diversity. We've added uh, a variety of related technologies that help support the world of manufacturing. And so our focus on jigs, fixtures, dyes, and molds has changed a little bit. We still have a good solid core in machining. We apply that to tooling applications, but not to the, set, not to the same depth or extent that we may have in previous years. Uh, in recent years, we've added um, a much more significant focus in the world of design and build, as well as just recently uh, some robotics and now upcoming down the pipe will be some PLC technologies as well. Uh, this facility is actually the result of a major capital outlay project by the state of Michigan. Uh, that project actually began back in 2013, so at that time welding was looking for more space. We were looking for a complete facility overhaul and we were fortunate enough to have an administration who put those two needs together which ended up resulting in this $32 million capital outlay project from the state of Michigan. Nice. So the area we're in right now, this is the basic machining lab. It's all about skill building, sawing, drilling, turning, milling, grinding. This is where the students start the program. They spend a fairly significant amount of time down here getting the basics down. Uh, if you think about industry and all the cool, fancy, high-tech stuff students, you know, people can get involved with out in industry, in order for them to really be successful, they have to understand the basics. And that's why it all starts here. We have numerous major machine tool manufacturers who will hire our graduates at the end as applications engineers to really get to that level to be confident and comfortable, to really know metal cutting, machining. There's no way around feeling it. And so that's really what students are getting out of this lab. Not only what the processes are and what the machines are capable of and the different work holding and tooling solutions, but understanding what cutting force is, how chips are formed, the, that whole experience of having it happen in your hands, there's no substitute for that kind of work. Man, this is so impressive. Can you just tell me about how this how the program works? How do you, how you get started in this? Absolutely. Um, so the program is designed to take people in off the street, right? Uh, we don't expect that anyone really knows a whole lot as they're entering the door. Historically, we had a lot of students who would come to the program from vocational technical schools around the state. But what we found is that over the past 20 years, most of the students coming in the door don't have that prior knowledge or experience, or maybe some, just not a lot. So the program's set up to walk someone in right off the street who really knows nothing and bring them through 
uh, all the basics, developing a good solid foundation on which to continue to grow and build. So the progression of the curriculum is that basic machining technology in the first semester along with some CAD. Second semester, jigs and fixtures along with CNC. The third semester is a mix of advanced CNC and some robotics. The fourth semester is a capstone project involving design and build of a custom assembly. Uh, could be a wide variety of different things, uh, but that course, that project, the way it's set up, is students are really trying to apply everything they've learned through the progression of those two years to that final project, and at the same time, there's also a good dose of metallurgy involved. Hmm. This area looks brand new and you got a lot of new equipment. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. This is the advanced manufacturing lab. Uh, in this area of the, of the facility, the focus is applying that core knowledge, all the basics and fundamentals at a higher level. And basically that would begin in the second half of that first year. Students would be down here working with the CNC uh, machines on their first, during their first CNC course and progressing uh, from that point, they would continue to use this lab space as their primary lab space as they progress through the program. So all of the sophomore, junior, and senior projects are done in this area, uh, as well as a variety of related CNC classes and robotics classes and other such things. So we've got some great industrial partners, and if it wasn't for them, we probably wouldn't have this facility that you see today. We've got mill-wise, a total of seven CNC mills. We've got our core machines, which we refer to as the first four machines. These are 10,000 RPM machines. Um, the next two, machines five and six, are 12,000 RPM machines with part probing, tool probing capabilities. And the last machine is actually a consigned machine, a machine from Herco. Uh, they granted that machine to us for a period of time to help seed the ongoing growth and development of the more advanced, you know, five-axis, multi-axis type work. So following our mills, we have our Makino U3 wire EDM. If you're not familiar with EDM, it's basically electrical discharge machining, and you're cutting with an exchange of current between a wire and a workpiece. It's kind of like pulling a precision wire uh, between two guides, and while that's being drawn through between the guides, you're exchanging arcs with the workpiece and in a very precise way machining the workpiece. And then on this side of the lab over here, we have all our turning equipment. So we've got three Perco TM6 lathes. Uh, one setup is a chucker with a bar puller if needed. The other two have bar feeders, uh, parts catchers, tool probes, pretty well equipped equipment. In addition to that, we've got our live tooling lathe at the end. And that particular machine is, is kind of the next step up in turning technology. That machine, like the five axis, is on consignment from Herco to help seed the growth and development of that side of the program. Hey Dean, what do you got going on in this area? Well, this is actually the most recent development in our manufacturing programs. Uh, this area, uh, between this teaching station and the nine other robots we've got in here, is really the new arm of our program. It is expanding our capabilities into the world of robotics and automation technologies. Right now, uh, this past year, we launched the first few courses in robotics that will continue to grow. It's being offered to our majors. It'll be offered to other students within the College of Engineering Technology. And over the next couple of years, we'll be growing that. Uh, this is the, kind of where it's all starting down here in the primary lab. But we also have a new lab space upstairs, and that space is set up to kind of expand on that and get a little more into integrating automation controls and manufacturing equipment. Uh, I guess you could call that kind of a a spin on applications engineering. We just want to say thanks to Dean and the other professors and students that helped us put together this video on the campus of Ferris State University. Check out Michigan Machinist, guys.